Welcome to another Digital Lifestyle Com video show. And in this video, we're going to be looking at the Amelo notebook with graphics booster. Uh, it's the Fujitsu Siemens uh, notebook that with the AMD chip in it and it has a graphic booster, which is an, actually a separate unit that acts like it's a docking station with a graphics card in there. So rather than you getting the sort of the low frame rate, low graphics performance of a notebook, uh, you get the extra unit. So if you're out on the go, you can use the low power uh, graphics chip in the laptop. Uh, so it give you extra battery life and then when you're back at the desk and you want to play something like a game or you do something video intensive you've got the booster so we're going to unbox it, have a look what's in the video and then have a look at the graphics booster so let's have a look what's in the box we've got a looks like the, the cable connected to the graphics booster two power supplies one for laptop, one for graphics booster as I said, it kind of acts as a docking station. We've got here is the actual booster itself. I'll show you that camera. So it's a quite small, neat looking unit uh, with power. We've got the expansion port for the laptop, two um, USB connectivity options on there, power. A DVI, HDMI, and Kensington lock on there. So it's a, a nice, neat unit. Um, as I said, would look act as your docking station, so you can plug your mouse, your keyboard in, your monitor, um, and your video already in, into that. Thing. So let's have a look at the laptop. This is the, the, the notebook. Let's open that. It's a uh, running Windows Vista with the um, Turian X264 processor in there. We've got webcam and uh, standard stuff on it. It's quite a nice, uh, nice looking notebook. Right. On the side, we've got uh, the expansion port, firewire, USB. On the front, we've got a, a card reader, uh, digital audio output, or headphones, microphone, and uh, another USB. Oh, that's an eSATA port on there that's for external hard drives and network port. And we've got on the back another USB port and a DVI in power and space for the battery. Other things in the box, big manual, and the battery, there's the battery, which is a 7800 milliamp battery, and we've got, seems like, other cables in there. So what I'm going to do now is set up and we'll have a look at the notebook without the graphics booster and then we'll get the graphics booster up. So this machine was lent to me by AMD uh, in Germany so uh, some of the uh, descriptions are in German, well all of them. But overall you can see that it got 3.7 and that was running around the graphics area, the uh, 3.7 and the 3 and the 3D 3.8. So what I'm going to do is now have a look at some of how it performs without the graphics booster and then with the graphics booster. Right, what I've done now is I've loaded up um, Flight Simulator demo and we can see that I've got the frame rate indicator on there. So we've got nine frames I think at the moment. And, and we see we're getting the frame rate of nine, 10, 13, I left all the default settings up that were on there so that we can compare those with the same settings. So what we're going to, try, we're going to do is I'm going to plug it, the graphics booster in and see what kind of graphic performance we get from it. From there. Okay, so what I've got here now is up on my TV. I've got connected by HDMI from the uh, graphics booster. There on the left and that laptop, I'm just loading up Flight Simulator. Now so far I've had a great deal of difficulty 
getting the two monitors to work with uh, the games well, this is in German this machine so I'm probably missing a setting somewhere but I have had it working as an extra desktop so you could use both so I can find move media center between the two machines so if you're using this as a docking station you could quite easily uh, have media center on your laptop then you come back plug it in the keyboard and mouse could be plugged into the graphics booster which has got the USB ports on it and then uh, you can find media center up to there so I'm just going to have a try of flight simulator to see if I can see the frame rate and then uh, we'll see how it goes. So now I'm just going to show Media Center. Uh, I'm running on this laptop here. I'm going to put it in a window and I'm going to drag it to the second monitor which is the display on here. See, I've now placed it on the on the second monitor. I'll move the camera up in a sec. Get a full screen on that. So, I've got Media Center playing on there via the extender or via this uh, graphics booster. And like I said, you're great for using it when you're taking it out of the bathroom, come back, plug it in, and you've got the extra horsepower. Maybe you want to fire up some HD video. I'll explain about the graphics card in a minute that's, that's in it. So that works. Now I wanted to try something that includes a frame rate, so I'm going to try something a bit more advanced. So I've had some problems trying to get this working with Flight Simulator. Uh, I can get it on a window, and you drag it around a window, a flight simulator just kind of crashes. So I was hoping to sh try and show the difference in the frame rates, so I've not been able to do that. But I can tell you though, it's effective you can have four monitors on this. You've got the laptop monitor, you've got the monitor, a DVI port on the laptop to plug the monitor in. You've got the graphics booster, which has got a DVI and a HDMI, and that's what I'm running now. Uh, it's saying that on, in the graphics booster there's a, a Radeon HD 3870, and on the laptop, it's got a Radeon uh, 3200. Uh, so I've just got this set as the, as the primary and you can switch between them. There's different modes and the ATI software seems to allow you to pick between different modes. But like I said, I've just not been able to get those uh, to work right. I've spent quite a lot of time faffing around but my journal's not good enough. So overall, I think it's, uh, it's a great idea that you've got a laptop that uh, with an external graphics card that you could use when you need the power of the, the graphics card. So if you're doing video editing, whatever, you can take, do record, do something on your video on your laptop, take it home, plug it in, and you can plug your keyboard, your mouse, and your monitor directly into this. So it's a good uh, uh, docking station idea with the extra power and allowing you to plug plenty of monitors in there as well. Perhaps having four monitors would be an interesting solution to have them all, all lined up. Like I said, for media center use, it's pretty good. You have, of course, got the limitation with. Uh, with media center on dual monitors where when it's on the second monitor it grabs the mouse focus um, so you can't really use the dual monitors while you've got media center in full screen and that's a problem with DirectX and not particularly the laptop's fault or, uh, or or in media center it's the way that DirectX captures it but you can have it in a window so you can have media center on this one carry on working on the other one there's no problem with that so that's the AMD graphics booster so let me just uh, Show you that again. I discount this. So this is the the unit. So it's an AMD graphics booster, VGA, HDMI, and USB ports on there. Plug straight into the into the laptop. Now the laptop does have to be designed. This won't work with any laptop. It's got a special expansion cable on there. You should be able to see that. So this only works with selective models. So I'll link for the details of what it can and can't do. Uh, are in the show notes. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in another video on the digitallifestyle.com.